the balance sheet is one of three documents that a company distribute to its shareholders so the shareholders can understand what's happening in the business. The other two documents being the profit and loss statement, what we call the income statement or the P&L statement, and the cash flow statement. Now, reading the balance sheet along with these two other statements gives an investor a comprehensive understanding of the operation of a business. Now, in this video, we will look at how to read the balance sheet and what part does the balance sheet play in understanding the operation of the company. Let me give you a brief overview of what the balance sheet entails and how the balance sheet is structured. So the balance sheet gives a position of the company's asset at a specific date. So all the asset that the company owns is recorded on the balance sheet at a particular time. And the date of the balance sheet is very important because after that date, even a day after the date, the balance sheet can change dramatically. So it is important for one to keep reading an updated balance sheet. Now it is said that the balance sheet measures the health of a company. So reading the balance sheet, understanding the balance sheet will tell an investor whether or not a company is a healthy company, is a good company, is a company that is expected to grow in the future or if the company is an unhealthy company, whether or not this company will, will go bankrupt in the future. Understanding the balance sheet answers questions such as what are some of the short-term problems the company might have. And when we talk about short-term, we're talking about within a year's time. So what are some of the problems that the company will face within a year's time? Will the company be able to meet its obligation within a year? Also, what are some of the long-term problems that the company might have? The balance sheet answers these questions. Will the company be able to meet its long-term obligations? Is the company tying up too much resources in its inventory, in its current assets? The balance sheet answers that question also. Is management replenishing the company's asset? Is the company fixed asset old and run down? Are the asset deteriorating? These are very important questions because answer to these questions tells an investor where the company will be in the future. So we will get into reading the balance sheet and answering some of these questions and more. Let us look at the structure of the balance sheet. Quickly, the balance sheet is divided into two parts. The first or the top half of the balance sheet lists the assets of the company. So on the top half of the balance sheet, you have all the assets that the company possess. On the bottom half of the balance sheet, it gives you the source of funding of these assets. In other words, where did the company get the money to buy those assets? Right? And the company gets the money from two sources. One, it borrows the money. And two, it uses the owner's money. So then that leads to what we call the accounting equation. So the accounting equation states that the assets of the company must equal to the liability plus the equity of the company. All right. In other words, the sum of the top half of the balance sheet must equal 
the sum of the bot bottom half of the balance sheet. And I guess this is where the name actually come from, balance sheet. So the top half must balance with the bottom half. Thank <laughs> you.